for the man to gain the whole world, yet lose his soul. What if you smoke the fattest blood around? What if you have the hottest hoochie around? What if you have the strongest liquor around? But you lose your soul to get it. You lose your soul to attain it. What do you profit? What do you gain? Where's the benefit? There's no gain in sin. There's no gain in sin. It's loss, loss, loss. No! If you're a sinner's not a winner. He said win, win, win. A sinner's not a winner. Write it down. A sinner is not a winner. You lose your mind. You become morally insane. When you're a sinner, you're morally mad. Because you established yourself as your own God and you're not God, that's insanity. That's madness. So you lose your sanity and you lose your soul. And in hell, you lose your happiness. You lose your peace. A sinner is not a winner. A sinner is a loser. A loser of the worst kind. A sinner loses it all in the end. The Bible says, yes, there is. Yeah, but you always talk about demons. No, you can be forgiven if you repent. The Bible says, know ye not that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived. And it says, fornicators, adulterers, homosexuals, sodomites, drunkards, revilers will not inherit the kingdom of God. But then verse 11, it says, and such were some of you. But you were washed. You were cleansed. You were justified. You were sanctified. Excuse me, good sir. Yes, sir. I don't mean no disrespect. I was taught to preach holy water Okay, thank you. So the Bible says, And such were some of you, but you were washed, you were justified, you were sanctified. You can become just. You can become sanctified. You can be washed in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. It's a great song. Jesus Christ can wash you clean. The blood of Jesus Christ can take a filthy whore and make her white as snow. The blood of Jesus Christ can take a, a filthy homosexual wash him white as snow. Bible says, Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow.
You know, you see me coming well, out of the home. Harvest, home, day, home harvest, harvest day is not on you know, Pauline. But I know where I couldn't hold them until I was in that bad of a shot. There's there something on this right. earth that's bigger than me. I'm plowing their hearts earth. with the law I mean, I like and the plant the seed of the gospel. But it takes time before there's a harvest. Please, he's a boy that's crying in the wilderness. They got told me to do this. Somebody got to walk like this. You're not supposed to preach. No, the Bible says go and preach the gospel. Now, she said, how many have I converted today? Have any of you repented of your sin today? I have. I do that today. I I watched everybody give me a hassle. But she still stood here. Amen. It was great. Yeah, God bless you. Well, hey, you never know who's going to repent. I've seen on the street Satanists repent. I've seen on the street homosexuals repent. I've seen on the street drug dealers repent. I've seen it. Yes, I've seen it. So who knows? Maybe some of you will repent of your sin. You know, uh, God is calling you to repent. How you respond is your choice. You know, you have a free will. You can harden your heart or soften your heart. That is true. Yes. The same sun that hardens the clay melts the wax. The same gospel, the same gospel that can save your soul can also aggravate your damnation depending on how you respond. You're more accountable today than you were yesterday because you've heard the word today. So you're accountable, you're accountable according to your knowledge. And uh, well, it's only the truth that can set you free. But for every ounce of truth that you hear, you have an ounce more of accountability. And yes, it is. Look, God created male and female. Adam and Eve. One man, one woman. So that's heterosexuality. And that's a uh, monogamous relationship. I'm just letting you know, guys, there's a lot of you guys. Guys, I'm not even going to listen to you. Thank you. I'm just warning you. So if you're a homosexual, stop it. If you're a homosexual, repent. St. Jesse. St. Jesse. Who the fuck is you to judge? My name is Jesse. Who the what fuck is your name? are you to judge? Jesse. You are not to judge. The Bible says judge righteously. No, it doesn't. Yes, John 7, 24 thou, thou says judge righteous move. judgment. You ought to judge too. Thou shalt you not judge judgments. anyone else is unless it, you want to be judged right the or same wrong way. To uh, hurt people. Ten right commandments. Read Make the ten judgment. commandments. Is it right or wrong to, uh, you know, do drugs? Make a judgment. Follow the laws of the land. This is we illegal. All, who do you vote police. for? Make a judgment. Who are you going to vote for? Make a judgment. That's a different uh, type we, of judging. You no, mean judging it's the people. same. We no, all judge somehow. Read the Bible. Is it right or wrong to judge? What Bible that's do you have? That's a judgment itself. If you say that it's wrong to judge, that's a judgment. Let me read your Bible. Can I see the Bible? Uh, there's a BYOB. No, I just want to say That's the right. Guy. That's right. BYOB. Check it out on your uh, iPhone. Yes. The quote Jesus. system of the down. What was system of the down? What did they say? BYOB. Yeah, that usually means bring your own beer. But I, or, Technically, we're allowed to drink. God did make uh, water out of wine. He drank. He, he would have fun. It depends how and much. Well, where does drink. a plant? That's and true. So but, okay as long as but the Bible says uh, be not so drunk okay. on wine. And the Bible says, strong drink is raging, whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. And the Bible says, be sober-minded. So when you're wasted, and you're smashed, and you're buzzed, Who are you to and wave you're your tipsy, finger? you're not sober-minded. Cards and glass, don't be tossing your stones around, man. 
Okay. My name is Saint Jesse. Nice to meet you. Saint, I would like to. Oh, Saint nice Jesse. to meet you. Saint, really I'm Christian. here to judge today. No I'm here to judge right from wrong, truth from error, Christian. light Get from away. darkness. Yeah. I'm here to Jesse. judge today. Jesse. 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 And I know there's a lot of sin in this park. I know there's drugs You're in human, this park. I'm a human. That means you are a fucking sinner. So who are you to judge? No, no. Human means you have free will. So you choose to be righteous or wicked. Human means you have a choice. Human means you're accountable. Yeah, and humans are fucking fallible. We make well, mistakes. Human constantly. means you know whether right we, from wrong. Whether we want to be good or bad, you know, sometimes a bad choice just a well, little bit more fun. Yeah, I mean, even the Pantheon, the height of Roman achievement, has a uh, archaeological or uh, uh, architectural error. Wasn't it the Son of God? So Jesus yes, there Christ are errors said, of Do judgment. Not judge thy brother. But you shouldn't have errors of intention. What's wrong? Man? The law of God is love. And that is something we can all have Dude, in our regardless hearts. Regardless if it's wrong by intention or not, it's still fucking sin. Well, there's a so difference. I commit mortal sin on a daily basis because I choose to do what I know is wrong. Right, and you what do, you know. And you choose to do something that you feel might be right, and then later on down the but line you, know you say, oh, hey, maybe I made Well, there's a difference between a, a, still a, you know there's a, difference in a mistake Jesus and Christ rebellion. Jesus Christ still commanded you not to judge thy brother. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, no he said he, he commanded me to judge. No, B Y O B. I'll point it out in your fucking Bible. B Y O B. I will point it out. John seven twenty four says judge, righteous judgment. Do you know it's also a sin? God so can I'm here to judge right. righteous. You said Only God can do that. And if you say it's wrong to judge, that's a judgment. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. If you say it's wrong to judge, that itself is a judgment. Now, uh, you know, I'm not here to proclaim the good voice? news of the gospel. You can't you tell the, the truth, though. Jesus you Christ is not his name. Right. Your sin shows you your need of a savior. The fact that you've done what you knew to be and wrong Jason shows that you are in trouble with God and in need of pardon. Saint, Saint douchebag that Pope asshole fucking sainted? Well, I don't fucking judge language. Well, I apologize. On the, on the I apologize. Road, I apologize. No, the road, sin. It's also a sin to say his name wrong. It's Jesus Christ well, isn't his name. It's not whose name. It represents uh, the father of us. Not, not the one above him, the father of us. Well, he got it put into the adoption. You say that's not his name. How do you know who he's talking about there? Uh, because this represents, this represents the picture that they have now, which is a, a dude that lived back in the 1400s, Alexander Vogier or something like that. And he was a homosexual and he was everything else. You know, he tried to kill his father, sleep with his sister and all of that. But that's what that well, name represents. the Greek is, uh, you know, Yeshua. His name Christos. is in Hebrew, though. Yeah, how about him? Yeah, how That's his name in Hebrew. Say you fucking judge me, right? You don't even know yeah, because Yeshua. the Lord is for the Hebrews. Ye Yeshua, I which I is... I come rolling in the park. You automatically Israelite. assume that I'm a sinner, that I'm a drug addict. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe you are. I don't know. That's kind of the gist I got. All of you are sinners. Well, not everyone's Everything a sinner. Everything in this park is drugs in this park. You said everyone's a sinner, not me. Well, you're implying it. You said everybody you're sins, implying. we're all human. I didn't say that. You're implying you it. Might, you might be a righteous man. Dude, you're splitting fucking But then again, you started cussing, which shows you're a potty mouth. Oh, so I use foul language. Yes, so you're out of bounds. You're foul. Foul mom. You're out of bounds. You know, you're not supposed to be cussing. That shows a, a wicked heart. You know what? Judas was pretty foul, too, when he sold out Jesus. And where did what, Two where, bits of silver? And where did Judas two go? Two bits of silver. 30 pieces. Two all right, 30 pieces of silver. Yeah. You know what? He knew what he did was wrong, and he fucking repented for it. Well, he, he still committed sits suicide. Beside, he still sits beside Jesus in heaven. No, Jesus said it would have been better for him if he was never born. Because when he uh, he committed suicide, that's murder of yourself. Suicides go to so, hell. In other words, if you wish he wasn't born, then that's hatred of yourself, in which that is a sin. Well, Jesus said it would have been better if he was not born. Judas, meaning. Uh, and yeah, because he didn't go to heaven. You don't, you don't live in sin and die in sin and go to heaven. The heaven's for the I righteous. I got news for you. I got the